go over the hand signals uh, with everybody, those that are new and haven't participated in a while. Um, basically, if you're in agreement with a big, with a particular topic of discussion, we try to save time by <laughs> twinkle yeah, fingers up. If you're in disagreement, it's twinkle fingers down. Um, if you don't have an opinion one way or the other, just don't make any hand signals. Uh, if we're making a proposal, if we're making a proposal and you don't agree with the particular proposal, we would prefer that you just simply use this. But if for whatever reason you're morally or strategically opposed to the particular proposal and uh, you, your your ethical reasons for not wanting the proposal to go through are so strong that you would be willing to leave the movement. If you're that passionate about that particular proposal not <coughs> not going through, and that's when you put up a block, and then that's when we'll either you know discuss uh, the topic more, try to revamp it, whatever the case may be, in order for the proposal to go through, or we'll just simply throw the proposal out and put the rest of the agenda. Um, v is for vibes. That's if you know you get a lot of sidebar and people are making a lot of noise and. You can't hear what's being discussed and kind of put up the B side. We try to make it so that one person's speaking at a time. Everybody will have their chance. We create a stack, and then that's, you get on that stack, and then you'll have a chance to speak your piece and speak, speak about whatever is being talked about at the time. Um, this is wrap it up. It's going on too long. We try to, ref we try to limit people to two minutes uh, when they have the floor, and they can speak for as long as they, you know, well, within two minutes they can speak about anything they want, but try to keep it two minutes. Try to think about what you're going to say and keep it under two minutes. Um, oh, point of process is when uh, somebody gets off topic. If we're having a conversation with regards to a particular discussion and somebody uh, puts up point of process, uh, that means that you're kind of off the topic that's being discussed at the time. And then we just so you try to get back on what we're talking about instead of talking about another issue. If you want to talk about a separate issue, that's when you wait until the stack is cleared and that particular subject is, has been thoroughly exhausted and then we go on to another subject and that's when you get back on the stack and, and talk about the issue and talk about I forget anything. I haven't done the rules yet. This oh, well that's kind of direct response. If somebody has a question, if somebody asks a question, you know, they can make statements, that's not what this is used for. But if they ask a question and you have an answer, you put your finger up like this and you can answer that person's question, that's when you raise your hand and directly answer that person's question. Clarifying question is asked when somebody makes a proposal. And in fact, now we have created a process that new proposals uh, have a 24-hour uh, period that we wait. So the only thing you can do on the night the proposal is made is ask a clarifying question. No discussion will be made, no stack will be made, only clarifying questions. It's the following evening that we'll actually create a stack and have a, have a discussion on the proposal if there's no disagreement, if there's no agreement. Um, proposals are usually passed in consensus, we, so we try to reach 100% consensus with our proposals. Um, so again, if you disagree or block, then we you know, try to have a conversation about that. But again, that's not until 24 hours later. The rules of the park, um, no drinking, no swearing, uh, no drugs, uh, no alcohol, and if you're smoking, you, you, you smoke in designated areas. We have designated areas at the end of this sidewalk, pretty much at the end of all of the sidewalks and the corners of the park is designated smoking areas. Definitely no smoking within GA. Um, uh, we, we would appreciate that we show respect for each other while we're uh, going through GA and, and at all times we're in the park and that we don't put our own individual needs ahead of the movement's needs. If it's a situation where you know, majority of the people think that you know, we should be going a specific way, and, you know, we just try not to be selfish and self-centered and think of all the others before we uh, do and react to our own. Um, that being said, usually what we at this point kind of adjourn for committee meetings, but I don't know if we want to be that point. Announcements, first. Announcements, yes. Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. Mini icebreaker. So do we have any? Do we have any newbies? Great students. Great students. Well, I take the same.
us a little bit of time, why don't you just kind of stand up and introduce yourselves and uh, kind of let us a little bit, let us know why you're here and okay. what you're what you're wanting to find out. Alright, um, my name's Elizabeth. I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, I'm a sophomore at Drake. Um, studying news internet, but we're here for our public relations class. Um, and our focus for our class this semester has been Occupy Wall Street and looking at it from a public relations perspective. Um, so we're kind of just here to find out more about uh, uh, Occupy Des Moines and how it's locally run. Um, and then we're going to look at it from a PR <laughs> So, I guess uh, to, to answer yours, if I was going to give a direct response, I know you didn't ask the question. Okay. <laughs> but um, each individual person's story is unique, and I might recommend that you kind of talk to each person, uh, you know, during our committee break uh, or after GA, whichever you prefer, uh, and, and that way it'll give you a really broad background of, as to each to each individual person's reasons as to why they're participating. You'll find a lot of similarities, but you also find a lot of similarities. I'm here for the same reason, but I'm Emily Lowry. I'm from Jefferson City, Missouri. I'm a senior at Drake, and I'm studying actuarial science and accounting. Excellent. Well, welcome. Thank, and you. thank you guys for showing up. I'm not a leader. We're all leaders. Okay. So. Uh, Mike Bates. I'm uh, the vice president of the uh, ABW Local 44 American Postal Worker Union. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I've been here to support our and the movement itself. About it. <coughs> Hopefully, I can gather some more bodies. All right. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. If there's anything we can do to help you gather those bodies, we'll be more than happy to do that as well. Would With you like to be on our mailing list? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Do you work in the main building? Yes. Do you, do you know John Nisco? Contact yeah. information down there. My dad. Is it really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm John Nisco. Well, welcome. Well, 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 appreciate magic, you showing yeah. up. Magic, yes. Maybe you Hi. could make a brief. And I know, I know you probably introduced yeah, yourself to a lot great. of people. Any, but anything you want to give me. I am known by magic on the internet. I have uh, my own YouTube news channel. I've uh, been ongoing for over two years. I am part of the Truther Movement, uh, which is a global organization of uh, community-minded people uh, looking to put out the facts as they happen and not the manipulated news uh, you see on mainstream. So I am here to provide you a venue to be able to express your freedom of speech without bias and um, manipulation, of course. So, uh, feel free. Thank We're you. We're going to do just that. All right. <laughs> um, any other announcements? Hey, Rita. of the local Des Moines Vets for Peace and the Catholic Worker to give a talk at night about militarism and war making and how it ties into the concerns of the 99%. And the following day, do an occupation of President Obama's headquarters here in Des Moines with the focus of militarism and war making. Uh, so, as soon as I know the date, we'll be <coughs> extending this invitation far and wide, and uh, uh, we're doing this in solidarity with the uh, uh, Occupy Caucus campaign that will be taking place later on in the month. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's you. My name is <laughs> To remind everyone, tomorrow, um, a lot of people from the caucus committee are going to be coming to GA. Um, we have a lot of really great updates and news, and everything's really coming together. And because a lot of people are going to start asking, because tonight our goal is to 
get all the occupations to endorse us as we're doing our meeting. So we're going to have a lot of people coming asking questions. So if you, everyone can try to come to GA tomorrow, we want to basically make sure everyone's really aware of what's going on so that you can answer questions too as they come. So tomorrow we will be giving a little presentation. Any other announcements? Well, at this time, okay, go ahead. Um, Occupy LA, Occupy Oakland, Occupy Philly all got evicted last night. Oh. All at the same time, ironically. So, of course, that's not just the mayors and the governors, so. Conspiracy. <laughs> I hear that there's another one that's going to be to Occupy um, somewhere in Washington, maybe. It's going to get evicted tonight. So, you can always, if you go to live stream, www.livestream.com in the search box just type in occupy it will bring up the most popular occupy news channels and you can watch it live it. anything else <coughs> well this time normally we I, break up I, and do I have one oh more. go ahead frank i was asked to share that uh, I, I shared this with the uh, uh committee uh, the occupy uh, caucus committee and they said you should share it at the ga when I, I talk about talking, I talk to uh, police. The police officers are going to be talking to a lot of us. And they talk to me. It, I'm one of the people they talk to. And the guy they, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, I, I try to impress on him that we're totally transparent. And uh, uh, he, uh, he was very good at uh, 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 complimenting me in that regard. And not only complimenting me, but saying that we're, we're all on the same page on this. So, uh, and, and what I need to tell the GA is that a lot of people are stretching to keep us on this piece of land right now. I mean, you're hearing all these evictions. That's not by accident. There's a coalition of people locally here beyond the people in this tent that are the strangest combination. And part of them are the cops. They don't have it in for us, or we've been out a long time ago. Another part of them is the city government. And it's just no accident that the Democrats are uh, in control of Polk County. Uh, they don't quite understand that we're not Democrats, but they can't believe we're not. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, they're part of the 99% too. Uh, and all I'm saying is that when it comes to dealing, so I, I was talking to the guy, I said, listen, we're having nonviolent training on Saturday or Sunday. You guys should come. We really need to have that kind of transparency. So, and I'm not only saying that, I mean, other actions, other events will have to deal with police in a different context. But for this action, this event, they're part of the, they're, they're going to help us stage a good street theater that's political and it's illegal. And we'll have a chance to speak in court and make our points. So it's really incumbent on us to start seeing the cops in on this with us. Because uh, they're, they're after the same, the larger stuff, they're after the same thing. So they respect them in that regard. That's what I have to say. I guess I wanted to kind of expand a little bit on what Frank was saying, because I've had uh, a detective come to the park. One of the captains, I don't know what, I don't know what their names are, but... They're the same two that continue to come to the park on a regular basis. And basically the one said, and this was a conversation I had with him a couple weeks ago, uh, before Thanksgiving, he said that, you know, he was aware, uh, you know, being the fact that we are a transparent uh, organization, he was aware that there were uh, a few of us that were probably willing to get arrested uh, on uh, Occupy caucuses. And basically what he was saying, you know, you can... You can allow this to be as theatrical as you want it to be. We don't really care. Just don't, um, and I guess maybe this might be something we need to present in, in the caucus meeting. If, if you don't go limp, if you don't hurt our backs, bottom line, what he said was is that, you know, we're just going to throw you in a paddy wing and probably haul you down to the police station and all let you go. We're not going to book you in jail. We're not going to do nothing. You know, you can put on as big a political show as you want. And as long as you don't fight us, and, and you know you just go willingly, and, and don't let us drag you, and don't don't force four of us to pick one of you up, you know just peacefully go into the paddy wagon. You're probably not even gonna be charged, not even gonna be arrested. But I think that when one of us violates that, 
I think probably all bets are off at that point. So as long as uh, in our nonviolence training, as long as we're communicating that to everybody that's willing to be arrested, I think where we need to make our speech is not to the police the night we're being arrested, but the following day in front of the judge or in the courtroom right. when we're all being charged, and that's when we make our speech. But yeah, he said, you know, for the most part, probably won't be, probably won't go to jail. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just did want to direct spot. Like, that is something we've talked about, you know, somewhat in length and will continue to in our caucus meetings. It's like that strict strategy, you know, in terms of like what does each, either us as an entire group or each, us, us as each affinity group go into this expecting, and, you know, and we do, we have like a script, and this is what we stick to. So, and, and I'm assuming that that will be something that we're going to bring to the GH as well. You know, this is what we're talking about. Just letting everybody know that. Who hasn't been going to the caucus? Yeah, had I known that script on October 9th, I probably wouldn't have gotten that. Well, yeah, this it's is going to be much be more so organized. It's going to be much more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they hurt my, my, my ribs. Yeah. I, I got beat up. Yeah. That probably won't happen unless we all go quietly into that good night. Yeah, this is much more preparation. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, we've had the time to prepare. Right. That night we didn't. I mean, it was quickly right. impromptu. I think the only. The only nonviolence training we had, we had was Sally Frank. She was there, and she was educating quite a few of us on what to do. But I just didn't have time to participate in that meeting. I was doing doing so many other things. Oh well. <laughs> Here I stand. I'm still alive and well. Uh, was there any other announcements? Oh, I was gonna. I ran into Clark on Ingress all the day. Clark wanted me to say that he's got something going on at People's. Oh yeah. People's Court. At 8 p.m. tomorrow. People's Live. It's a Des Moines-based variety show. It's also going to be a fundraiser for us. Yeah. So, so it's kind of built around that almost. Um, he calls it spanging, <coughs> but <laughs> spanging outside for 99% money. Basically, just uh, asking for donations and offering, sending, uh, selling the the shirts that will be down at People's, and it's yeah, a variety show. Eight p.m. And I, I take it this is what he's doing to try to raise funds for his video cameras or uh, video projectors. Or um, but he's been working on this as a fundraiser for the camp for quite a while. I don't know if it's directly for that, but it's just something he's been putting together for us for a while. All right. Any other announcements? Steve Tuzman will be back on Friday. Awesome, that's what I was wanting to know. Yeah. I'd ask the question, I, I didn't get an answer. Sorry, I just got to take this. Cool. Um, normally at this time we break up into our committees. Uh, I'm on the Food and Support Committee and Finance Committee. So if there's anybody that needs to talk to me, uh, what do you think? Adjourn for 20 minutes? Did we start to have our meetings outside of GA because they, they don't get a lot done in 15 minutes. Uh-huh. So, I don't know if we even, anyone on the action events feel like we need to meet? Normally, we have proposals to propose. Yeah, right? I think it's a good thing that you can still meet within our GA, otherwise, um, so people want to get kind of get an update and see all what's going on. We don't, definitely don't need 20 minutes. Okay, what do you think? 15? Yeah. Okay, 15 minutes, we'll all meet back here.